Oh, 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 look at it. Look, it's Sonic Adventure DX again. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, we're not actually going to play Sonic Adventure DX for this random gameplay video. We are going to be playing something else. Holy crap, this is loud. Turning down the volume. <laughs> All right. Slot A. I have to have a memory card this time because of my stuff that I unlocked and whatnot. Uh, mini game collection, I think it was. Yes, it is. There we go. We're going to play Sonic the Hedgehog on the Game Gear. A really old game. <laughs> a really old handheld game at that. Holy poopers, now it's really quiet. <laughs> yeah, we're rocking out now. <laughs> this is really, really huge. It fills the entire screen. <laughs> and you know how small a Game Gear screen is. Oh, wow, this is... I never tried this before, actually, on Sonic Adventure DX, because I beat the original... Um, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog on the Game Gear numerous times over again, and yeah, I was like, I just don't feel like playing it at the time, so that's what I'm doing for this random gameplay, is giving it a try on the big screen. Woo! Holy crap! <laughs> what the heck did I do? Oh, <laughs> I think I got a little further than the screen there. <laughs> Come on, bonus, 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 bonus! Oh, <laughs> Yeah, the Game Gear Sonic the Hedgehog, the 8-bit version, it's got a lot of problems and graphical issues, but it's still very charming and fun to play for some reason. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd make a full walkthrough on it, though, because I don't know where the Chaos Emerald... Well, I, I, I would, if I mean, if I were to make a walkthrough on it, I would scout out ahead of time where the poop the Chaos Emeralds are. Oh, no! And I think a Chaos Emerald is in some waterfall... Come on. It's in some sort of fall-down waterfall type of area dealio, but I don't want to fall down all the holes, otherwise... Oh, shoot! Otherwise, I could get screwed up, and I don't want to miss the Chaos Emerald. See, that's what that's the thing about... If I were to make a walkthrough on this, I would I would have to know where the Chaos Emeralds are. They're not found in bonus stages like normal Sonic games. They are found in um, the levels themselves. Uh, this is a checkpoint box, by the way, so if I were to die, I'd be able to restart. Uh, what is this way? This is... Looking for... E. Uh, no, this isn't it. <laughs> At least I don't think so. The thing that I'm looking for. Then you crab meat. Um, boop. Oh, and the screen size is also really small. Well, not on my end, of course, because you know I'm playing the ginormal uh, TV screen. But I mean, it's it's smaller than normal Sonic games in that um, it's. It's hard to react in time because of how fast you're going, and as opposed to how fast the screen size is. Alright, where is that Chaos Emerald? Wait, wait, it's down here, isn't it? I think it's... this way then? No! Crappers! I completely forgot where it is. <laughs> and if I were to make a walkthrough on it, as I said, I would like to scout out ahead of time. It, a walkthrough of this game definitely is not out of the question because it, it is such a short game and it wouldn't be hard to memorize. Okay, I'm gonna just move on ahead here and hope that I'm not reaching the end of the stage accidentally. And I think I am reaching the end of the stage accidentally. Ah, screw it. Forget the Chaos Emerald. <laughs> Ooh, I got a bonus zone. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably make a walkthrough on this game one of these days. It'll pr it's such a short game, it would, it would probably be a walkthrough movie of sorts, one of those thingies. It depends how things go, you know. Alright, the objective is to get as many coins as you possibly can as in the time allotted and reach the end, of course. Well, actually, come to think of it, I don't remember if there's an end. <laughs> well, actually, no wait, there is an end. There's a little signpost, but you want to get... Uh, the, did I say coins and not rings? I've been playing too much Mario lately. So anyway, get as many rings as you can as you go and you might have to bounce off a this really awkward thing to get the higher ones, and, oh, continue box, now I remember, you should find those things in the bonus areas to make sure that you can continue on the game, they're like getting extra continues and bonus stages, yeah, it's just four continues and rings, 
And likely points, of course. Okie dokie. <laughs> How could I forget that anyway? I've played this through this game like 80 times as a kid. <sighs> oh, I am shamed. <laughs> Boss time! And look who it is! It's the classic Dr. Robotnik. Well, actually, he was still Eggman at the time, but he, in the regionalized version of Eggman was Robotnik. Look out for spikes, by the way, down those pits, and where? There should be some rings that I can pick up before the boss, I thought. Maybe he was dropping down one of the pits? Well, whatever. I'm ringless. Eh. And I intend on killing you quickly before you do something devastating. I have no idea what the heck he was going to do. <laughs> He's just flying up there. <laughs> and it's over. He must do something, but I didn't let him do anything. I, I forgot what he does as well, but... Eh, well. <laughs> next level! And that's probably all I'm going to be doing is the next two levels plus the boss stage. It, 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 this Sonic game is also kind of odd in that the second level of this world here, the bridge world, is actually an auto-scroll stage. Yes, an auto-scroll stage of all things in a Sonic game. I know it doesn't make sense, but it works kind of well. <laughs> Especially since, as I said, the screen size is quite small. Anyway, moving on, and sometimes these bridge pieces will fall, well, certain kinds of bridge, bridge pieces, so you gotta look out for that. I like these. And it also causes a lot of slowdown. <laughs> uh, these are weight lift thingies. The higher you are, the further you'll, I mean, the higher you'll up, you'll bounce when you come down. Uh, checkpoint, well, I mean, you gotta make the weight go as high as you possibly can. Uh, and the so Chaos Emerald for, oh shoot! The Chaos Emerald for the stage is in the second one is in the second stage of this world. Always hit the checkpoint box when you get back out. I mean, when you die and have to restart. Yeah, I didn't really restart from such a bad location, because here we are! <laughs> so that death was pretty much meaningless. Well, I suppose you do have to worry about lives here because of the fact that you can run out of lives. There's no save system in this game either, so that's another thing. But that would also make uh, collecting the Chaos Emeralds quite difficult. Uh, you know, if you don't have them memorized of where they are and stuff like that. Extra life! Uh-oh. And this is another thing about the smaller screen. I don't know where I'm gonna fall. Oh, okay, it's safe. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is! It, I thought it was in the second stage. Can I get... I thought, yeah, I could've swore it was in the second... Oh, right, I'm supposed to do one of this... Oh, now I remember. Ah, oh, my memory is failing me all over the place. <laughs> So it wasn't in the second stage, but I do know the second one is a uh, auto scroll stage. And no bonus. I are sad. It's the exclamation point on the sign that gives you a bonus. I don't know if there's any way to control what kind of bonus you get out of that sign though. Like your speed or something like that as you pass through the sign. Bridge part two. Let's start. And here's the auto scroll. By the way, your uh, life counter at the bottom left corner is covered up by the foreground layer. <laughs> I found that kind of weird as well as a kid. I didn't get why that was. I just, but now I understand how it is because you know I know I know more about how game layering works and stuff like that. But before I was like, why does it keep disappearing behind? I mean, I mean, the, I thought the water was one piece, but no, it's not. It's multiple pieces. <laughs> it's like I get it now, but I didn't before. And I wonder if Sonic's going to look like a flashing orb, or if he's going to look as, like properly when he's got the shield like this. Because I, I can see on the camera, it doesn't look like he's flashing properly. And there's some leftover pieces of the bridge. I don't dare try to touch those bridge pieces, because they might not actually be there. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, I can't, I can't really tell on the camera's recording if this is recording properly, because when uh, a thing about older games is that these flashing effects like this on characters and things is if you... I mean, if they are... Uh, oh, I should be getting further ahead, shouldn't I? Oh, shoot! <sighs> oh, wait, maybe there was a Chaos Emerald up there, and that's what I'm remembering. Huh, there's something up there that I missed. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I just want to see where I where I missed the thing, just for the heck of it. On this kind of auto-scroll thing, you want to be 
uh, pretty far ahead of the screen, unlike other auto scroll segments. And I just realized this starts me from the very beginning. Well, that's kind of crappy. <laughs> I didn't notice that I missed something. I hope. I mean, I I didn't notice I missed a checkpoint or something like that. Maybe that was what was up there was a checkpoint that I'm thinking of. That was so important to get up there to me. That's how I remember to go up there and whatnot. And I think I forgot what I was about. What I was saying before. Ah oh, well. This is just random gameplay anyway. Boop. And this is what I mean about the auto scrolling actually working in a Sonic game because if you remember the old older Sonic games are focused more along the lines of platforming than they were of speed. That's one of the things that I joked about in uh, my older walkthroughs. I don't know if people picked up on that or not, but I used to say, "Oh no, no, no." I used to say that um Sonic games were about speed and nothing else, which was uh, basically a uh, picking fun at the newer Sonic games which were focusing too much on speed and nothing else and they didn't have much substance so I don't know if anyone picked up on the sarcasm of that but yeah that's that's what made the older Sonic games so much more um, so much I, I, I don't want to say better because that's an objective thing but I guess I would say better because that's that's what I think of them because they have more substance to them they aren't just running blindly through a stage and then jumping whenever you need to or whatever it, it, they you actually have to think about your moves and that's kind of what the newer sonic games have been failing to do but they did a much better job uh in recent sonic games such as in uh, colors and in the um rush games on the ds but the, otherwise the game is such as i made the same mistake twice i can't believe that <laughs> but otherwise they are um pretty shallow <laughs> sorry to say but that's true uh, there's some rather blind Sonic fanboys who just don't see that, though, and... Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't want to speak badly of anyone in particular, but you know who you are. <laughs> anyway, let's move on here. And hopefully not make any mistakes. I, I, played, I played this level a better... I mean, I played this level best the first time I was playing through it, strangely. Maybe I should be putting more focus on the actual playing good part as opposed to the um, commentary part like I have been. <laughs> but, eh, as I said, it's random gameplay, so whatever. Oh, I've also got to continue, so I guess it doesn't really matter if I should uh, game over, because I will make it through. I can't believe I... <laughs> Are you serious? What is wrong with me? Yeah, I will. <laughs> and yeah, if I were to make a walkthrough on this, I would definitely make sure that my skills are up to par. Because I used to be able to beat this game practically without dying when I played this game as a kid. But since I haven't played it for so long, this is what happens. <laughs> I would never, ever see that game over a screen on my childhood playthroughs. <laughs> But oh well, it's still fun to play. Yeah, I'm looking at the camera right now, and this flashy shield effect that's supposed to switch between Sonic, Sonic's frame, and the shield itself, is supposed to be um, alternating. But on the camera, because of the way that it doesn't record, you know, at the same frame rate, that's what makes this uh, odd flashy effect happen in your recordings. All right, be careful this time. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stay ahead of the screen because I want to do the little bouncy platform thingy. I can't really... There it is. You gotta do it twice to get up on the higher level, and... Oh, crap. I missed what's up there again. You know what? Screw it! I'm just gonna play th through this stage. I think what's up there is just a checkpoint. I could be wrong, though. I would look into this more if I was making a walkthrough just to refresh myself. What, what is up here? Uh, I guess that... Uh, I was supposed to go up there. I guess maybe that was a shortcut of sorts. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm coming near the end of the stage. Oh, be careful of this here. This extra life. Hold the jump button as you're jumping down onto it. It's floating. If you don't hold the jump button, you are going to... What? Oh, that was weird. You're gonna fall into the water, and that would suck. Especially if you don't have a checkpoint. <laughs> Please, we can do it, Sonic. We can make it. <laughs> the stage is only about two minutes long. And because of the way it's laid out, you pretty much will finish the stage at exactly the same time each and every time, because, you know, it's an auto-scroll stage. <laughs> and... here we are! Boop. 
bonus, 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 bonus! Yeah, I can get myself another continue if I should fail horrendously, like I did on this stage. <laughs> Ban bonus time! Woo! Uh, I'd like to find the continue more than anything, and I probably shouldn't have fallen there. So I should have probably gotten more stuff up there or what? Or maybe there's no stuff up there. I don't know. I forgot the bonus stages. How lovely! <laughs> wow, that was it. I, I must have missed a lot of stuff. Oh well. <laughs> That makes me sad. But you definitely got definitely gotta stay on top of those bumpers. If at all possible. Those kinda it's kinda hard to stay on them, especially since the screen is so small. Because you gotta land on something that is so um you know, you gotta land on something that's off screen and try to feel it out. Alright, bridge stage. Part two, let's go. The bridge cracks apart and the frame rate slows as we approach our second epic battle in this game. And there really was no rings whatsoever, that's pretty sad. At least I got a shield. And... oh! I forgot how to dodge that. I think I have to low jump underneath his poopy blast. Something like... not like that. Or maybe I should be attempting to go behind him because he shoots forward, I don't remember. Oh, my memory, it fails me so... It fails me so badly. And it looks like Sonic's gonna fall through the bridge at times. See how his sprite is like going under the bridge? The bridge, um... Bridge parts, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that works way too well. <laughs> so I guess that's what I should do, is just stay on the opposite side that he's... Whoa! About to shoot! Oh! Don't hurt, don't hurt me, please. Why am I bouncing? I mean, why am I going right through him as I'm about to hit him? This is what I mean about the game being kind of glitchy, but it's still a fun game, as I said. Just gotta be careful and at anticipate those glitches, I suppose. Well, anyway, that's all I'm going to be doing for this random gameplay video. I hope you enjoyed this super large screen version of Sonic the Hedgehog on the Game Gear, and I will see you in the next video. Ching!